Hey guys, it's Black Scout Survival and today we're doing the kit test or knife independent testing. And basically this is a test that I designed and it's a consumer based field test. It's not a destruction test or anything like that, like trying to you know, break the knife. Just putting the knife through uh, some conditions and, and uh, situations that it would uh, see in the field. With, at the, while at the same time trying to eliminate any variables that uh, people I've seen uh, having their other tests and I'll explain all these variables and, and what I've tried to do to alleviate them as we do the test. But today we're testing the uh, Black Scout and Razorback uh, survival knife system. And if you hadn't uh, heard about that knife, check out BlackScoutSurvival.com and I have a write up. And we'll also do a uh, companion video to this one showing the knife and uh, all the features of it and uh, the sheath system. But uh, we'll go ahead and get started on the test now and uh, go through all the paces of the test and see how the uh, Black Scout and Razorback do. Alright guys, so the first part of the test is something that happened um, previous to starting the test. And basically what we did was uh, we put the knife in ice uh, for an 8 hour time period to get it down to around 32 degrees. Uh, we were going to freeze the knives uh, for testing, but I, f I figured that that would be hard to replicate and uh, duplicate another test because of the varying lengths of uh, knives. So <coughs> we decided to put it in ice and, uh, for, and, and keep it in a cooler overnight for eight hours with a thermometer so we can check that, uh, make sure it's maintaining that temperature. But here's the cooler and you can see it's uh, right there at 30 degrees it says. So we'll go ahead and pull the, we got the knives in here. We'll start out with the Black Scout knife, and you see it's frosty, and we're going to go ahead and go to the chop test. On the chop test, basically we're using uh, processed wood, and we're using processed wood because that eliminates the density, varying densities and whatnot from uh, wood found in the field, because oak may be harder than pine or whatnot, so this eliminates that variable. The other thing here is you'll see this line here, and this will keep my stroke from extending beyond that. So it can go straight above my head, but no farther than that. So we have a, a systematic stroke here, okay? So we'll go ahead and start chopping on this uh, two by four now. That last stroke just chopped that uh, two by four and a half about a whole inch worth of uh, uh, the board there, and uh, even with the free, uh, you know, um, putting the knife in ice overnight, I see no uh, failure to the edge, but uh, it still looks great. So we'll go ahead and do the razor back now and do some chopping with it. Okay, now we're doing the uh, razor back uh, companion knife, doing the same test, getting out of the cooler. Alright guys, well, because this is a 4 inch, uh, four inch blade, I'm not going to try to chop through the entire piece of wood. I just wanted to do some chopping while the blade was uh, <coughs> come from a, a 30 degree uh, temperature. And the reason for that is, is to test the cold treat of the, uh, the uh, or the heat treat of the knives to make sure that there's going to be no blade chipping and both knives perform well. This is a D2 steel and uh, it still looks phenomenal. So we'll go on to the next part of our test. and. Uh, which is a tip strength, and we'll get on that now. All right, guys, now we're moving on to our tip strength test and basically just see how strong the tips of these knives are. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in a, a half inch to an inch, go on two, two or three straight back pulls. Then we're gonna <coughs> do one uh, B2 
feed it into the beat the tip in and tr one uh, twist to the right and uh, one twist to the left and then uh, to see how the tip uh, make sure there's no tip failure but we'll go ahead and start that now I mean that just broke the whole board in half. Just cracked the whole board. And uh, no, no tip failure. So now do one more. Then we'll do a twist to the right and a twist to the left. see there's no tip failure whatsoever the edge is still in good shape actually looks just like how the uh, knife came no problems we'll go ahead and do the razor back now <coughs> and the black scout is a sandwich damascus blade and the razor back is a uh, d2 steel blade Remember, we're doing three straight back and then one to the right, one to the left. Alright, now one to the right. That's the razor back. No tip failure. Everything is uh, just like how the knife was before we started the test. So we'll move on to our next section. All right, guys. So we're moving on to our batoning section of the test. And for this batoning, like the same as the chopping and the tip break, uh, tip strength test, is we are using uh, processed wood. And the reason why we're doing that is because the variables are uh, the same with every piece of wood. Whereas if I go out in the forest and try to find wood, I'm going to find varying uh, types of wood and densities, age, whatnot, which may skew a uh, accurate test. Also for this test, my baton, I will be using a rubber mallet. That way, uh, you know, batons have different lengths, uh, diameters, and weight, you know, different weights. So really, that uh, using a uh, rubber mallet will take the uh, variable out of that section also. So we'll go ahead and start batoning. really just going through this wood very easily a lot, of that, a lot of that has to do with the uh, shape of the uh, blade of the black scout and I'll go into that later on 
go ahead and do the razor back now. Well, that's the batana test and both blades there's a little bit of dust on the uh, coating but the blades still are intact and I'll go ahead and show you that Alright guys, so now I'm going to uh, try to put the knife through a uh, piece of galvanized cable. And uh, as you all know, I'm sh sure you uh, know how strong this is. So uh, we're going to go ahead and try to cut through this uh, now by hammering the knife through it. Let me go ahead and move it onto this piece here so you can really see it. Well, that's pretty impressive. The knife cut through this galvanized steel cable there. And you can see the edge is still intact. It would have went quicker if I could have had it on a hard surface, but hitting the knife into the hard surface would be problematic, as you can understand. But uh, so it took a little bit longer just because the wood was giving way I was, I, as I was hammering into it. But we'll go ahead to our next section of the test. All right, guys. So now we're moving on to uh, cutting uh, the test where we cut through vinyl tile, and there's two reasons why we do we're doing this. One is see how the blade has maintained the edge up this point, because as you know, this is tough stuff to cut through. And then uh, it's also, we're gonna cut through it, try to dull the edge for the next test, and you'll see why we've, we've done that. But uh, let's go ahead and take the black scout and see how we can. All right guys, so that was the uh, cut through vinyl and did that very well even after all 
the test that the knife has been through. And we'll go ahead on to the edge retention test and I'll explain how that, uh, what, what, why we've chosen this way to do that. All right guys, so this is the uh, edge retention test and basically there's an inner from a piece of paracord um, attached by a two and a half pound weight. And just we're gonna do a drag cut across the uh, piece of cord just to see if it still has, has maintained an edge after all this testing. All right guys, so now I'm gonna start off with the razor back for that test. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the uh, black scout with the edge retention test. And you know, it's been through all, all the uh, chopping, batoning, cutting through galvanized steel and uh, cutting through the vinyl. We're just gonna see if it's still maintaining the edge. And it still maintains an edge. Uh, you know, I'm just lightly, barely touching it and uh, doing that pull cut on it. You know, if I grabbed it and just uh, swiped it, it'd split right off, but just doing that very gentle pull test is letting you know you're still maintaining an edge throughout after all the uh, testing. All right, guys, so you're probably wondering, uh, you've seen during this kit test, you've probably seen this uh, on my leg and wonder what it was, but this is the uh, Black Scout and Razorback survival sheath system. And I just want to let you get a look at that. We're going to do a video about the Black Scout and Razorback following this video. And uh, you'll see, uh, I'll give you a description about all the components of this and why it's designed the way it is. All right, guys. So uh, that was the uh, kit test or knife independent testing. And uh, we put it through, put the knives through the paces and they, they passed. I mean, it's still maintaining the edge. There's no chipping or breaking. We, you, we put it through cold uh, temperatures, you know, to check the heat treat. We've chopped, we've batoned, we've cut through metal, we cut through vinyl. We see that's maintained an edge. I mean, the knives look a little dirty <coughs> from the test, but I'm sure this will wash right off, all this will wash right off, and knives will look brand new, you know. Uh, but these knives are made by Andrew Jordan from uh, Jordan Knives, <coughs> uh, jordanknives.com. You know, he's uh, this. This one is a hand forged knife, and this one is a D2 steel, and uh, it's a very uni unique uh, knife. And I'll go into the details of that with the uh, in the next video. But uh, it's phenomenal knives, and they uh, went through the field tests. And I would feel comfortable with you know any any of you all purchasing these knives, and knowing that they're going to stand up to whatever you, situation you uh, may put them into. But uh, this knife, I bestow a, a, red, a red certified knife uh, on this knife, so a kit test red certification, meaning that it passed. And uh, hopefully uh, we'll, we can see some more kit testing of some other knives in the future. But uh, this is, uh, you can check out BlackScoutSurvival.com for more information about this knife as well as kit testing. And uh, if you'd like to kit testing, just email me at jack at BlackScoutSurvival.com. And... Uh, <coughs> If uh, you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.